All right, guys, welcome back to Detroit Become Human. We are now back with Marcus on his little adventure. Hopefully, we find out more about him, but hopefully, you are having a great morning, afternoon, or evening. I have literally, as of two and a half hours ago, got off the plane, and I'm back in the UK after a little trip to Germany this weekend, and oh boy, it was fun. It was fun. Uh, I wish I could tell you more, uh, but that'll be for another time, and uh, yeah. But well, anyway, let's continue today's journey. Deposit package. Oh yeah, we've just picked up some art supplies, haven't we? Bellini art supplies. Package collected. Deposit package. Take care of Carl. Wait, Carl upstairs. God, this is a really nice house, isn't it? I'm guessing he's a painter. An artist. An artist. But hopefully you all enjoyed the first episode. Hopefully, I well, I saw um, a couple of the comments when I got back this morning. That's some bloody bones. Anthropology. Is it anthropology? I think it's anthropology, isn't it? That's a window. Who's Carl? Carl? Carl! Where's this room? Oh, is this it? Hello? Oh? Draw curtains. Okay, I can see a wheelchair. Uh. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. Sounds like did go to pick my up bloody Alexa. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids. I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. Uh -huh. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. Okay, so obviously he's a cur for Carl. That's probably what his main priorities are as, as, as an android. I don't know if he's a nurse bot or a nurse android. Oh, bon. Taxidermy, like, always, like, freaks me out. But I'm super interested where this story is going to go and what's going to happen with each individual character now because we played as Connor. Uh, Cora, and now Marcus. We might not even play as uh, thingy again. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to oh. confirm your attendance. Sorry, Carl. Mm. Uh, sorry. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Fan mail? News from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No. What the hell that's fast? Leo.
Any news from Leo? Where are we heading? I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. That, like, the guy in the wheelchair, he sounds familiar. I recognize the actor. I like how the quick time things are not just like press A, press B, press X, press Y. I like how it gives you the analog to actually push up to lift it. Thank you, Mark. Gives you a bit more better motion. I kind of like it. find something to do while I finish my breakfast. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl. On the other hand, last night, the American ambassador again informed an emergency meeting of the UN. Find something to do. Can read a book. What else can we do? I like how that piano was called Quantic uh, Deluxe. So anything else? Television off. Oh. Mankind is so depressing. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. 5,000 years of civilization just to get to where we are. Can't go in there. Let's just play the piano. Hopeful, intimate, enigmatic, well, uh, I'll do melonical. I don't know what tempo to play that. So bad. Something has changed in the way you play. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. Mm. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio.
I like Carl. He likes to show him empathy and... The studio. Whoa. Where do I put you? Oh. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. Whoa. That's huge. Clean studio. So that's how he's probably made all of his money is an artist. You know when it's too quiet and you're like something's about to happen. I'm in that boat right now. Like, mm. that's pretty cool, though. How he's got like a whole pneumatic arm. Oh, so. What's your verdict, Marcus? Yes, there is something about it. Mm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. I hope Give nothing happens to Carl. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> it's like he's teaching him emotion. It's like he's teaching him how to live. Paint calls painting. No, we don't want to copy. Let's go for the statue. He's literally doing it like a printer. He's literally going from left to right like a printer. That is a perfect copy of reality. But painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Big canvas. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas.
Android humanity identity. Now it's prisoner. It's quite fascinating. Looks like good. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It looks medicated. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's he got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Damn, he's a bit unhinged. Oh. Damn. The painter. It was all, I was going to say, there was only one ending to that. Like, these, like, couple of scene scenarios that we've been in, Definitely feel a bit more linear just because of um, we're kind of getting introduced to the characters. Oh, November 5th, 2038. 1121. Jimmy's bar. Oh. We're back with Connor. Fine, Lieutenant Anderson. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Derek Myers. Christopher Gray. What's your problem? Edward Dempsey. I want to guess this is not going to be him as well. John Graham. This guy. Oh, here we go. Lieutenant Anderson. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by CyberLife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide. 
involving a CyberLife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance, especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. Do you know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Where? Never mind. Oh? I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I... I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. Might as well. I love how Connor does line right. Whoa. Stares at you. Conflicting orders, selecting priority. Follow Lieutenant Anderson. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Typical DPD. They don't tell us shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of stay in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Mm -hmm. How very funny. Just a tell partner. what happened. We had a call around eight from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by. So On the what? Uh, homicide, wasn't it? It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Oh boy. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed he's in. Worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. There's that red ice again. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. It literally says on the wall home. there, I am alive. Which is insane. So it's like he's... The androids... The androids become, um... Aggressive. Let's have a look around. Is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Oh, with a knife? No fingerprints, android involvement.
He needs to stop oh, doing Jesus, that. Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? <laughs> got it. <sighs> Fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. Dried blood DNA. Oh, so that is Carlos's his blood. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Nothing. Eden Club. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Back to another good soul. Signs of a struggle. Carlos just, okay, so Carlos grabbed the bat. The question is, though, it, did Carlos get aggressive with the android, or did the android switch and go for Carlos? Because from what we've seen so far, it seems to be when the androids are, you know, are being attacked, they kind of defend themselves. Oh, Deviant took a knife, so he was there. Emotional shock. The crazy thing is, though, is that that guy actually looks like the person that's with Cora. Just started beating him and attacking him. And that's when he turned. It was like self defense, but technically he shouldn't do it because he's a droid, right? But why did Carlos to get the attack? Was it the. Yeah, the drugs? That's it. Gossips Weekly. Android sex officially better. Sorry, ladies, but plastics can't beat, uh, can't be beat. Sorry, ladies, but uh, the result of our survey is in, and it's official. 60%, 68% of men prefer sex with an android to a real woman. And with 52% of men saying they've tried the experience at least once, that's a lot of android love to go around. There were a few reasons given for this preference, but we think we know the real reason. Androids don't want to talk about their feelings afterwards. The story was sponsored by Eden Club. Discretion is our middle name. Interesting. Is your android spying on you? Cyberlife will be using its androids to collect private information. This sounds familiar. More and more experts are just suggesting that Cyberlife uses its 120 million androids to record details of private conversations of its customers and sell them to trading partners. Even talks about buying that new car while eating dinner with your partner. Cyberlife could be use that information for targeted advertising. The information gold mine doesn't stop there. Everything from personal indiscretions to political affiliations could easily be extracted and potentially use used for nefarious purposes. More and more, uh, wait, uh, the spate of reports linking Warren's pregnancy of Cyberlife only deepens such concerns. Several consumer rights organizations have requested that Cyberlife disclose the information it gathers and who it sells the information to. But the company has always refused. Requests for formal inquiry have gone unanswered so far. This, this is something that Amazon does currently. Uh, I watched a whole documentary on it, very fascinating, on how Amazon 
get you that next day delivery. And it's all to do with your history and browsing on their site. So whilst you're searching for certain products and you're looking for TVs, you're looking at uh, wall brackets, Amazon kind of understand that, okay, we're, he's going to look at this TV. This is his normal spending kind of thing. So let's push these ones and we'll, we'll ship it from the, you know, let's say from London because that's where they're currently stocked. Let's ship up, up to some to like Manchester where I am. And, you know, it's near enough next day delivery, which skips out there and just kind of like, it's, it's kind of clever, but it's, it's scurry. Do you know something? This android could still be here. Right? Is, can I? Uh, uh, thank you. Can I examine the body? I can. Oh my god, that's a lot of stab wounds. Acetone around his mouth. Five, six, weight, 286 pounds. Internal bleeding, 28 stab wounds. Deceased more than 19 days ago. Yeah, he's been here a while. Theft and aggravated assault. At least he slipped on his own trash. Oh no, he come crawling in from the other room because of the stab. Oh, maybe not. He got stabbed multiple times coming out of that kitchen. All right, let's play it. What happened? Bam, pushes him down, tries to get back up. Gets pushed against the wall and then stabbed. 28 times. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. I am alive. Regular letters, font. I like what it tells you, it's cyber life font. There's one more piece of evidence we're missing. Excessive writing. Religious offering. Okay, now there's nine evidence. Well, it's okay. Now we're missing one evidence. Where is he? So I'm going to guess he's not just going to run away, right? Dried blood on that corner. There we go. Now we found it. All right, let's go and speak to him. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah. Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... In the kitchen. In the kitchen. There 
obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... With the bat. With the bat. Bam. Bam. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the, the android through the chair. The victim, uh, the victim stabbed the android. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Yep. Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The bathroom, the garden, the living room. The living room. sense the android murdered the victim with a with knife. knife in the cellar with okay <laughs> that theory is not totally ridiculous but it doesn't tell us where the android went it was damaged by the bat and lost some therium lost some what therium you call it blue blood it's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Blue blood. was used ah it's gonna be up in the bloody whoa it's gonna be in the loft find something to climb a chair maybe that chair I'm going to check something uh, gonna check something I swear to god if he's if his face is right there when he opens I'm I'm not gonna look this always freaks me out even IRL ever since I watched the grudge and you see that woman just go up and pop her head up into the loft and you look around and the grudge's face right there imagine if that happened IRL Take it easy. I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump. No. It was a mannequin. But it is it's fake bait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Not looking. I'm looking at my OBS. I'm looking at myself. But the... I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, he moved. He moved. Can we see him? Have you got eyes on him? Yeah. I don't like... Oh, no, 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 no. What the hell? I was just defending myself. He was going to kill me. I'm begging you. 
Tom Tallon. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh, shit. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now! Yeah, um, walking through there freaked me out a little bit, a little too much. Oh boy. Now we're back at Cora's house. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, God. This guy freaks me out. He, he makes my blood boil. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Damn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They're never tired. They're never sad. So fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Don't you dare. Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off! You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! Oh, you dick. You absolute dickhead. Here? Come back here right now! You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. I took off without a word. I could have been happy. I could have had a family. But no! Shit about how I felt. I did everything I could to make her happy. It just, it just wasn't enough. Oh. She's become deviant. I just wasn't good enough for her. Fucking 
Get the gun, get the gun, get the gun. I say! <laughs> <laughs> 